Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to look at setting up one-way dynamic lighting in Roll20. And this feature is really cool because it lets you set up elevated terrain so that your players can see down from higher ground. It lets your players see things like trees or pillars or rocks while still blocking vision behind those objects. And it lets you set up effects like one-way mirrors so that some players can see through barriers while others can't. Note that you will need a Pro or Plus account in order to use this feature. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So let's start out with Elevated Terrain. On this map, we can see we've got some tiers that our player is going to need to climb up, and we want them to not be able to see what's on each tier until they actually get there. And so we're going to do that using one-way dynamic lighting. So let's see how to set that up. So a couple of quick prerequisites. We want to make sure that the page that we're on has dynamic lighting enabled. And in this case, I'm using daylight mode because we're outside. And then we also want to make sure that our token has vision turned on. So make sure you've got those prerequisites set. And then we're going to use the toolbar here. We're going to go on to dynamic lighting layer. And from there, I'm going to select this drawing tool and I'm going to select polygon line. And what I'm going to do here is just click and kind of draw my way around the edge of this tier and go all the way around. OK, I fast forwarded a little bit there. And once you finish drawing your line like this, you want to right click to finish it and then I'm going to click on the arrow tool and select that drawing that I just made. And you'll see here there's this one way option here. So if I make this a wall, then it's a normal dynamic lighting barrier, just like what we've always known and loved. But when we set it to one way, then the arrows that you see here indicate which way you can see through. And so right now we're saying that if you are looking at this wall from this direction, then you'll be able to see through it. But if you are looking at it from say over here, you won't be able to see through it. And we can just check that real quick by switching back to the token layer and pressing control L to look through our character's eyes. And we can see now they can't see through this barrier. But if I then move them up through the barrier and control L, they can still see down here through the barrier that we just set up. Now let's switch back to the dynamic lighting layer real quick and select that line again. If we need to change the view, like if we didn't want it looking from this direction, click this little swap direction button and that will switch it. And now if we go back to the token view, we can't see through it again. And, but we could if we were on this side. So that's the basics of what we're going to be doing for all these other effects. So now let's see how we can use this effect for things on the battlefield like rocks or trees or pillars so that you can still see those items that are blocking your line of sight, but not see what's beyond them. So again, we need to make sure that our page has dynamic lighting enabled and that our token has vision turned on. And then we're going to switch back to the dynamic lighting layer. And just like before, I'm going to use the polygon tool to draw around my bush. And we're just going to go around it real quick. When you've completed the shape, you can see that it automatically completes it and it starts out by placing the one way lighting around it. And now again, switch back to the token layer, control L. And now my character can see that there is a bush there, but can't see what's behind it. Now it's worth mentioning that you don't have to use the polygon tool in order to create these effects. For example, I'm going to just do a circle real quick and I can just draw that around this bush and you can see that's a one way dynamic lighting automatically. And then I'll switch that one so that it's looking inwards as well. So you can do this with circles, with squares, with regular lines or with the polygon tool. Now, switching genres from fantasy to cyberpunk, you can also use this effect for things like one way mirrors. And so you think about it in a club, you've always got the mastermind up looking down on the club floor from their office or whatever, but nobody in the club can see up to them. We can do that same effect with one way dynamic lighting. And the approach is very much the same. We're going to go to the dynamic lighting layer. We're going to switch on the polygon tool and we're going to draw in our line real fast. Just block off the parts that the club floor can't see and then finish it out, make it a one way. And now if I switch back to my token layer, 
my mastermind can look down on the club, but the people who are on the club floor can't see up to them. So there you have it. That's how you can set up one-way dynamic lighting in Roll20. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.